Good evening, candidates. I welcome you for this um, session on GD. But I know majority of us will be thinking about uh, what? India, Australia match. What is the score now? India, Australia. Anybody knows? I, I couldn't see it. Latest. It's 168.43, sir. Ore Baba. Only three wickets. How yes, many sir. overs? 30 overs? Or how many overs? 30. 31st over is going on, sir. It's over. So I think mostly they will be because the way things are going on, unless we take some wickets, it will be difficult. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. Let us concentrate on this. Pooja. Good evening, sir. Uh, Pooja, please speak, uh, read uh, question number 66. Okay, Having an urgent report due for submission to senior management, by day's end, you faced an unforeseen medical emergency. To address this, you entrusted your task to a subordinate and left for the hospital. Regrettably, your subordinate mistakenly submitted inaccurate data, leading the distribution of an incorrect report to senior leaders in your organization. How do you plan to handle and rectify the same? Will you take the necessary disciplinary actions against your subordinate? Okay, very good. Now I will request uh, Tarun also to read this question. 66. Good evening, sir. Good evening. 66. Having an urgent report due for submission to senior management by day's end, you faced an unforeseen medical emergency. To address this, you entrusted your task to subordinate and left for the hospital. Regrettably, your subordinate mistakenly submitted inaccurate data leading the distribution of, of an incorrect report to senior leaders in your organization. How do you plan to handle and rectify the same? Will you take the necessary disciplinary action against your subordinate? Good. Very good. Now, let us make this uh, pakka. I mean, first one, one minute. Thereafter, pakka GD. How do we go about this? So now to start with... Uh, I will uh, call upon uh, who would like to volunteer to speak first. Raise your hand. Who would like to speak first? Raise your hand. Anand Sai. Okay, good. Anand Sai, uh, please talk. You start it. After Anand, Abhinaya. After Abhinaya, Rogit. After Rogit, we will go to Krishna, Vishnu and others. So, to start with one minute discussion, Anand Sai. Start. Hello, friends. Myself, Anand Sai. I'm from Amrita Vishwavidya. I'm currently doing master's in computer application. So, in this situation, I will immediately call upon my senior managers and inform them that an inaccurate data has been passed on to them and uh, they shouldn't proceed further in any meetings with the data provided by my subordinate. I will also inform the situation about uh, my subordinate handling the task since I had a medical issue. And the next problem should be to rectify the uh, mistakes. I will immediately ask my subordinate to uh, make the correct decisions and make the inaccurate data as accurate as possible and as soon as possible. And based on the feedback from my seniors, whether uh, the issue has been on a severe scale or a less severe scale, I will take that feedback and then take the necessary disciplinary action based on the severity. Thank you. Okay, actually, you said um, I will ask my subordinate to submit inaccurate data. That is wrong. You should. You, you wanted to tell I will ask the subordinate to correct the inaccurate data or submit correct data. So, so please be careful while talking in English that we should not commit such mistakes. I'm not sure uh, whether the facilitator will note the mistake that you committed, but still, otherwise you were talking with a lot of confidence and all. But this particular point was an error. We will yes, go sir. to Abhinaya. Abhinaya. Hello, Six. sir. Good evening. Yeah. Hello, myself Abhinaya Priya from Amrita University. Uh, I'm doing my MSc no, on Applied I, Statistics uh, and Data Analytics. Re remember, I want all of you to bring the active involvement, happiness, confidence in your voice. 
that only will get success please please try to talk as if a heroine is talking about some scene very important point and with what an amount of happiness or interest involvement commitment dedication she will talk you must use such things even even our um, normally our, he used to talk well the previous speaker i forgot his name what is his name anand sai anand anand yeah anand used to talk with very good confidence and very ac- attractive voice but today it was not that very good so you must talk you see you can cover people by your voice the pleasantness of your voice the sweetness of your voice of course that alone will not do you must present points also abhi naya start 66 sir uh, i would try to uh, make a plan no, to handle f- the situation first first introduce yourself then start Okay, Hello, friends. Myself, Abhinaya Priya from Amrita University. Hello, mm-hmm. friends. Myself, Abhinaya Priya from Amrita University. I'm uh, doing my MSc on Applied Statistics and Data Analytics. Uh, in this situation, I will try to make a plan to handle the situation. Uh, that is, that is uh, first, stop, will... stop, stop, stop. In yes. this situation, I will try to handle this situation. What is this sentence? Okay, sir. in um, this situation the, i will try to situation? handle the situation what is this ha huh? you are msc student okay sir abhi naya i will give you chance afterwards we will go to rohit babu rohit babu please speak rohit babu are you able to hear me rohit rohit is not there then we will go to varsha varsha are you there yes sir yeah please speak good evening all i am varsha i am from shri krishna college of technology i am pursuing mba in finance such a situation firstly i will acknowledge the error and send the accurate data to the senior team then i will apologize for the mistake from my side to the senior management i will also let them know why this happened and i had a medical emergency i will take the responsibility of the inaccurate data which was submitted by the subordinate i'll try to find out why this happened from the side of subordinate whether it's uh, because of lack of training or it's because of the negligence of the subordinate then i will make sure that next time before delegating it to the subordinate the senior manager knows about it and the disciplinary action will be taken only if it's a case of lack of training thank you but even here krishna you could have started telling instead of simply jumping into the point in this situation you could have told about few point i uh, say um, after telling inter- after introduction of yourself then you can say um, in this i have i had a medical emergency i had to uh, ask this work to be done by a subordinate then continue with whatever you wanted to say otherwise you talk nicely we will now go to abhi naya abhi naya come yes sir hello friends myself abhi naya priya from amrita university um, in this situation i would try to make a plan um, instead of thinking about the disciplinary action i will immediately acknowledge this mistake and uh, take uh required actions that is uh, i will assess the impact caused by this mistake and will try to correct the mistake immediately um will distribute the correct report to my uh, senior managements uh next i will investigate the root cause behind this mistake if it is due to the negligence of this subordinate i will take a disciplinary action or it is really a honest mistake uh, this i should approach this with uh, uh, appropriate actions like uh, i can uh, provide a training or a development program for this subordinate uh, to make him understand what uh, this process is about and i will try to prevent this uh, mistake being happened in the future 
Thank you. Abhinaya, Abhinaya, did you watch the video or not? Sir, no, sir. Then how can you talk well? Huh? Sir, but I myself prepared, sir. Without watching the video, I tried to write myself. But the confidence is not there. Sentence making, presentation is not proper. And the valid okay, points sir. are not covered. Yeah, doesn't matter. Now we will go to Krishna. Krishna. Krishna, are you there? Krishna, what happened? Krishna is not able to hear. Are you able to hear me or not? And is there any problem with my system? Hello, sir. What happened, Krishna? You are you sleeping? No, sir. No, sir. Uh, I took my earphones off. So then I don't know why and everybody couldn't hear. Now am I audible? Yeah, now you are audible. Uh, sorry, yep. sir. I just took my phone off. Sorry. Yeah. Come on. Speak. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. I'm Krishna. I'm doing my MSc Data Analytics from Amartya Vishwa Vidyapita. So first, I will communicate to my senior leaders about the miscommunication and apologize for the same. Then I will access the report that is submitted by my subordinate as soon as possible. Then I will examine the report to know where exactly the inaccuracy is. Then I will redo the report along with my subordinate so that he also comes to know where the mistake is done so that in near future if he is provided with the same work the same mistake is not repeated again thank you vishnu good evening sir and my dear friends my name is vishnu k and i am pursuing mca from amrita vishwavidyalaya today in this scenario first i will contact the senior management and inform them that the report that was submitted had errors in it and then i will request them to extend the timeline for submitting a new report and then in addition to it i will i will go and meet the meet my subordinate whom i have entrusted the duty of submitting the report in my absence and will talk to him regarding the mistake that he had caused and to understand the root cause of this issue if he had committed uh, if the mistake was not that severe i would not go take a, a, a se severe disciplinary actions against him but if uh, the mistake was severe and this employee had a track record of committing mistakes like this then i would go and take disciplinary actions against him and i will request the management to consider plans where reviewing and updating uh, reviewing and scrutinizing the report before submitting into the senior management for examination is to be considered that's all sir mm. <laughs> yeah very good mm. who all talk and who have already talked abhinaya talk varsha talk pooja you also talked anand sir you talked tarun you please talk good evening everyone i am tarun from amrita vishwavidyalaya pira i am doing my msc applied statistics and data analytics In this scenario, after returning from the hospital, I will acknowledge the error and express sincere apologies to senior management for the inaccurate report. I will gather all the relevant information about the error and including the specific inaccuracies in the report. I will work with uh, work with the subordinate to identify and correct the inaccuracies in the report and prepare an updated and accurate report, ensuring that all data is thoroughly verified and double checked. Once the corrected report is ready. i will distribute to all the parties who received the inaccurate version and if the mistake is due to the uh, carelessness i will definitely will take uh, disciplinary action but if he then without awareness i will ask him to attend the uh, training session so that he will not commit in the future thank you good i think in one place you said careless ness carelessness uh, Yes, careless I mean, misnessness yeah so i, I if at all they notice it will be problem if they don't notice no problem rohit babu is trying very hard to come but he is coming and going out because of his uh, internet problem rohit babu can you talk now where are you are you in 
where are you are you in coimbatore or kollam why your internet is so bad what is the problem you are facing why can't you borrow some good in laptop from somebody and work out uh, sir uh, i am currently i am in my hostel room i think today it's the match so everyone is using our hostel wifi so that's you, the reason you, it's you, being you you go you you go through data you are you have data or not mobile data yes sir i have also tried it but it didn't it didn't turned out well so i borrowed one of my friends modem very good. it's working yeah thank you now sir. speak now speak uh, 66 right sir yeah 66 uh, good evening friends i am rohit babu i am doing my msc in physics at amrita vishwavidyapeetham coimbatore so uh, in this scenario uh, immediately i will discuss about uh, disclose about the situation to my superiors and take full responsibility of the situation and what happened it in my absence what uh, happened that what happened uh, what, what happened uh, due to my absence uh, i will uh, take measures to provide the superiors with accurate and precise data uh, as the sub support subordinate has mistakenly does uh, what he did uh, i will warn him about his carelessness and urge him to be more careful uh, i will also let the authority have a clear picture on the medical emergency i had thank you there were some mistakes in sentence formations doesn't matter no problem rohit babu everybody has talked or anybody has not talked everybody Sir, has... i have you krishna puja 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 please talk uh, good evening friends i am puja i am doing my msc in physics from amrita vishwavidyapeetham coimbatore here the situation given us i am uh, uh, i have given my work to the subordinate because i had some medical em emergency but mistakenly subord a subordinate had submitted some inaccurate data to the senior authorities and it had caused some problem in the organization uh, in this situation i'll take the whole responsibility of the situation as it is it was my job uh, which i have given to my subordinate uh, first i'll acknowledge about the mistake to the senior authority then i'll talk with the subordinate on where the mistake has happened and whether uh, uh, the way in which the work has to be done was communicated uh, thoroughly by me or whether he had understand he or she had understand what i was uh, trying to communicate how the work is to be uh, done whether it was communicated in a correct way then uh, at the same time i uh, make a new uh, a new report and submit to the authorities as soon as possible um, uh, uh, looking into how uh, how serious the issue is, disciplinary actions will be taken uh, against the subordinate. Thank you, sir. Good. Who has got interview? GD tomorrow? Anybody has got GD on 20th? I have, sir. Who? Varsha. Okay, okay. Varsha has got on 20th. Good. Very good. Now, all of you have spoken. Yeah. Now, you know, for since we have to cover more topics, let me go to the next one. We will go to 67. Varsha, please take up 67. Uh, should I read the question? Yeah, you, 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 there is no need. Can you talk without reading? You are aware of that? Yes, sir, I'll, I'll read it. <laughs> <laughs> please read. You are the chairman of the college union. Every year, the Freshers' Day is celebrated in a grand manner to welcome the junior batch students. However, this year, there was a suggestion from the principal that the celebration can be avoided and the funds set aside for the celebration can be used for charity purpose. The students were eagerly waiting to welcome the juniors in a grand event. As the chairman of the union, what will be your approach and why? Discuss the step-by-step -step action that you would take. Arsha, start. Good evening all. I am Varsha. I am from Sri Krishna College of Technology. I am pursuing my MBA in finance. In such a situation as chairman of the college union, I would first inform the students that 
the precious day is not going to be conducted because of the charity purpose and i would let them know that why the charity campaign would be better than uh, wasting money on a celebration because they are anyway going to be studying here and we will have more celebration coming up but contributing to the society is more important and that will also give other students or other people who are underprivileged to come up in their life thank you good next rohit babu rohit babu good evening friends uh, i am rohit babu i am doing my msc in physics at amrita vishwavidyapeetham coimbatore being the chairman of the college union uh, i will uh, suggest uh, uh, as freshers party is being conducted by the uh, current second year students i will uh, i will organize a meeting in between teacher, uh, teacher in between the second year students uh, and uh, i will discuss this issue and uh, i will uh, i will allow them to uh, tell their perspectives on this uh, uh, the decision will be taken on uh, if if they are okay with it the decision will be uh, taken uh, give uh, as given to the charity thank you hmm. good next after uh, rohit babu we will go to anand sai anand sai Yes, sir. Hello, friends. Myself, Anand yeah. Sai. I'm studying at Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peetha. I'm currently doing masters in computer application. So mm -hmm. we all know that in a college life, the freshest day, you know, it is a part of the college life itself because the juniors are waiting for it, the seniors are waiting for it. So my plan as the chairman of the college would not be to completely avoid the freshest day celebration. I will hold a meeting with all the senior students. and emphasize on the point that the whole enjoyment perspective or the whole enjoyment concept of an event does not imply on the whole grandness of the event in general but how it is managed how we are enjoying with as little as we can so my steps to actually do the freshers day would be i will tell our seniors that the college will provide the auditorium according uh, in their free time and they can collect small small amount from the class itself and have some small food and they can also take the decoration from the previous celebrations and the charity foundation concept will also be a theme for the freshers day so as to make uh, the seniors and juniors appreciate more on their work since the they have wasted very less money on the event and also a charity has been benefited from that thank you After Anand Sai, Varsha, Rohit Babu, Pooja. Now Pooja. Uh, good evening, everyone. I am Pooja. I am doing my MSc in Physics from Amrita Vishwa Vidya Vidyam Coimbatore. In this scenario, I am the chairman of the college union, and uh, every year there will be Freshers' Day done. But uh, this year, principal has suggested that the celebrations can be avoided and the funds can be uh set for charity purposes. As a chairman of the college, uh, I suggest that uh, uh, this goes for charity, but at the same time we should have some induction programs for stu uh, for juniors. As in everyone's life, it is a big step when someone comes to a new college to come to a new environment. We have to give them an idea of how the college works. Uh, uh, what are and all other necessary uh, unnecessary tensions that they. should avoid what are the necessary things that they should do in college and all so i think there should be a small uh, a small uh, induction program for students as well as a charity purpose and we should encourage the juniors in such a way that they can also uh, give a hand in the charity purpose by uh, doing some uh, sevas or going to old age home uh, representing the college thank you Yeah, next Krishna. Yes, sir. Good evening, everyone. I am Krishna. I am doing my MSc in Data Analytics from Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peetha. So here, as a chairman of the college union, I will go ahead with the celebration of the freshers party, because in all the past years, the freshers has fresher party had been conducted in a grand manner. So suddenly discontinuing it would be a great disappointment for. all my students because as a college sharp person uh, my students happiness and their celebration is important to me uh, rather 
uh, as anand sai men- mentioned before grandness is not very important at last what that matters is how much we enjoyed so i will allocate half of the fun to the precious party and other half to the fresh other half to the charity purpose then i will also uh, raise fund among the students because nowadays there are a lot of students who actually care for the society and they are searching for an opportunity to uh, serve the society so i will raise fund among the students and i'll uh, put it together with half of the fund that is allocated for the charity so that we don't compromise on both thank you not bad good thank uh, you sir abhinaya did you talk or not no sir please speak hello friends It's myself abhinaya priya from amrita university uh, in this case as a chairman of the union i will uh, conduct this celebration because every year the students will have an expectation about this freshers day uh, we can conduct this celebration without any um, funds like uh, we can celebrate it without any grandness so i will um, ask the students to um, celebrate it with uh, free of cost Uh, in this case we can uh, use the funds that are uh, that is set aside uh, for the celebration uh, for the charity purpose thank you varun good evening everyone i am tarun from amrita vishwavidyalaya in this case as the chairman of college union i would initiate a discussion with principal to understand the specific reasons behind the decision i would emphasize the importance of freshers day as a welcoming guest gesture for the new batch of students as it sets the tone for their college experience and helps them feel integrated in, into the institution's culture uh, then i would uh, propose a cost effective measures to reduce the expenses of the celebration without compromising the quality of the event so that remaining amo- by having a simpler decorations and um, opting for s- Uh, uh student volunteers and uh, taking the sponsorship from local uh, sh- shops and bi- local businesses and um, throughout this process i will i would maintain an open and transparent communication with the principal the student bod- student body and the faculty thank you very good all of you have spoken or somebody has not spoken on this point no sir all i have who, who has not spoken vishnu 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 please speak Good evening, sir, and my dear friends. My name is Vishnu K, okay, and I am pursuing MCA from Amrita Vishwavidya Pune. So, in this scenario, as the chairman, I will conduct survey among the students to know their sentiments regarding the omission of freshers day. Then, I will talk to the principal uh, regarding allocation of a little. If they are looking for charity, I will talk to principal regarding allocation of a little portion of the freshers day fund towards charity and celebrating the freshers day. or allocating a, a good amount of uh, a good amount of share from the freshers day fund towards charity and organizing freshers day in a very light manner this is my opinion okay mm, see actually if you why are you not able to watch the video do you think it is not useful why are you not watching if you had watched that you would have come across different answers for this also and you know see what are the different ways in which this can be handled number 1 you can you can disagree with the principal and tell him no sir it is a must that we should have this we will go ahead with this but if so what we can do is to raise fund separately and distribute that fund to the charity that is one option another option is may request tell the principal that we will use 30% of the funds for this balance 70% for charity like that it can be told another option is raise funds from the school students um, then use that only for freshers day let the charity fund be used for where the fund available be used for charity so like that you can tell from different options so these are the different options so i will consult the students 
and also the principal and then decide the suitable action. Something like that you can add and try to find out different ways in which a particular problem can be handled. So that is one. And regarding this one, of course, somebody has rightly told, since it was my work, I entrusted the work to the subordinate. Possibly the subordinate has not understood the work properly. That is why he has done mistake and I will own the responsibility. I will try to see hereafter that the work is delegated to people with proper instructions so that such errors do not happen. This has also happened because the candidate, the uh, subordinate was not aware of the way the work has to be done. So I will give more importance for training, something like that you can say with the confidence. Okay, no problem. Now we will go for question number 68. Uh, uh, Varsha, tomorrow's in GD Girl. Please read this. As the college chairman, as the college chairman of your institute, you are invited by the district collector to participate in a panel discussion centered on the role of students in a clean city. In the light of the pressing issue of waste management within the city, the district collector believes that students possess the potential to offer innovative solutions for waste treatment, significantly contributing to the success of the clean city project. As a college chairman, what will be your suggestions? Good. Now, I would request uh, another candidate, uh, Abhinaya, also to read this, 68. Okay, sir. As the college chairman of your institute, you are invited by the district collector to participate in a panel discussion centered on the role of students in a clean city. In the light of the pressing issue of waste management within the city, the district collector believes that students possess the potential to offer innovative solutions for waste treatment, significantly contributing to the success of the Clean City Project. As a college chairman, what will be your suggestions? Yes. Now, um, who can initiate the discussion? Volunteer? Volunteer, please. Hello, Anand Sai, Varsha. Okay, Var Varsha, you please start. Then Anand Sai. Good evening. Good evening all. I am Varsha. I am from Sri Krishna College of Technology. I am currently pursuing MBA in Finance. As a college chairman who was invited for the panel discussion in for the Clean City project, I would suggest that in the college itself, we can conduct many campaigns among the students. We can also start a committee of students to conduct activities regularly in the college. We should first start the campaign inside the college and then we can go outside and collaborate with municipality or other departments who are outside the college. And then we can spread the awareness among the residents who live nearby the college and they can later spread on to other people. So this will be my step towards this Clean City project. Thank you. Very good. Next, uh, our uh, Sai, Anand Sai. Hello, friends. Myself, Anand Sai. I'm from Amrita Vishwavidya Vidya I'm currently doing Masters in Computer Application. In this situation, I will definitely assure the district collector my surety in my college students participating in this event and being and helping it become a great success. So first of all, I would like to divide my students into a team. Some students can go to beach cleanup drive, some can stay within the city, some can wish to go to rural areas, it can depend on their interest. So having the students being in the separate interest groups will ensure that the students actively participate because it's also or based on their interest also and interest will drive the students further and that's an extra act of you know consideration for my students those who are actually participating in this event i will allocate them grace marks and take approval from the department to ensure that these marks are correctly given to whomsoever are participating in this event thank you next after anand saik vishnu Good evening, sir, and my dear friends. My name is Vishnu K. I am pursuing MCA from Amrita Vishwavidya Data. In this scenario, as a college chairman, my suggestions will be uh, to make awareness away, uh, among students and villages, uh, villages near villages, to know the importance of waste management. No, it is given then, as city. Okay, okay, sir. And, uh, okay. It is given as city within the city. Okay. 
among the peoples and uh, the students to know the conduct an awareness among people and students imagine your college is uh, nearer to the city okay among the people and uh, villages uh, among the people and students conducting awareness uh, to the people and students and then conduct uh, forming a club within the college where the highlight will be on waste management where students can contribute to innovative ideas and uh, uh, form um, the conducting paper bag paper bag and the cloth uh, cloth bag making units and in addition to that collaborating with local government local government organizations uh, to ban the use of one time uh, one time polythene bags and promote this this paper bag and the cloth bags among this local businesses can reduce the use of this way, use of this one time polythene bags and such wastes and uh, competitions and innovation challenges can be conducted conducted so that we will get innovative ideas and cre in creative ideas among the students for various waste management challenges that we face that's all awesome. thank you next we will abhinaya did you talk no no sir please speak okay sir um as the chairman uh, of my institute i first think of, students have a creative mind first first always introduce yourself because you have to okay, do, there, do it there also you must remember i know you feel it is redundant or so the the clarity yes, with which you introduce or the confidence with which you introduce the pleasant voice with which you introduce that carries a lot okay sir hello friends myself abhinaya priya from amrita university i am doing msc uh, on applied statistics and data analytics uh, as the college chairman of this institute i think students have a creative mind to come up with innovative ideas so in order to uh, create this um, innovative ideas we have to groom the students from the start as the chairman of this university i will incorporate modules on waste management and environmental studies in their academics i will also encourage the students to undertake research projects on waste management um we can also promote uh, reduce recycle and reuse practices uh, by this will encourage the students to um, practice this uh, process Uh, the students from uh, technological background, that is, uh, computer science, engineering, or uh, other technological uh, backgrounds, uh, we can ask the students to develop apps or other technological solutions to make waste uh, management efficient. Thank you. Next, who has not talked so far? Rohit has not talked. Tarun Krishna has not talked. Na. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, Rohit, please speak first. Uh, uh, good evening, friends. I'm Rohit Babu. I am doing my MSc in Physics at Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pitham, Coimbatore. Uh, the role of students uh, in a clean city, uh, uh, in cleaning the city, uh, there allocate. I I will allocate uh, the students of my being the chairman of my college. I will allocate my student with three. Uh, different roles first one will be organizing the waste second one will be recycling and third one will be redistribution and when i say organizing the waste i will make uh, organizations inside the colleges like nss uh, red cross etc uh, go to different houses collect waste from there uh, wash it out and be ready with it and being the chairman i will also organize fests inside the college uh, and provide opportunity for students to come up with new ideas special trainings webinars uh, will also be conducted to give an exposure to these students on areas of waste management and uh, this these ideas will will be uh, given to the government and together it will be Uh, it will be made reality, and uh, at the end, uh, one the redistribution, uh, uh, the uh, recycled plastic will be collected, and it will be redistributed among the shops with the students' leadership. 
thank you good evening everyone i am tarun from amrita vishya vidyapeetham i am doing my msc applied statistics and data analytics in this scenario as the college chairman invited to participate in a panel discussion centered on the role of students in a clean city i would emphasize the following suggestion um, first of all i encourage students to adopt waste segregation practices at home and uh, within the college campuses form the student led waste management clubs as uh, waste reduce uh, waste uh, reducing waste generation promoting recycling as the core topics and uh, foster an entrepreneurship in waste management and um, also uh, look for the help from the local policy makers and i will uh, want to uh, take the help of social media to uh, spread awareness about the waste management and to promote the uh, reuse and recycle and uh, i would i want to use, utilize the opportunity during the college camp events also and um, i want to um, launch the um, uh, management uh, waste management awareness campaigns also thank you tarun you spoke very well but so what happened towards the end i want to i so want I to with, uh, yeah. if that I happened my, uh, to create words sir if, if that happens it will be difficult for us to be selected so please try to avoid such say instances this is my suggestion so the okay, only sir. solution for that is to talk slowly and not talk fast maybe that okay, is sir. one solution i next krishna did you talk on this topic no sir not it please speak okay so thank you Hi everyone I am Krishna I am doing my MSc in data analytics from Amrita Vishwa Vidyapeetham Here as a college chairman I totally agree with the collector's belief that students possess the potential to offer innovative solution for waste management because Super. I truly believe Wait wait wait, you... wait 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 Super here you know she was able to talk all correct words correct sentences using the information given in the question itself so that will give you a sen- uh, give a feeling that you are good in communication so please take note of this guidance that is not it is not necessary you are going to read the full question but try to use portion of the question to present to make proper sentences now continue from the beginning please start yes sir yes sir I am Krishna and I am doing my MSc in Data Analytics from Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pedam. Here, I totally agree with the collector's belief that student possesses the potential to offer innovative solution for the man for the waste management. Because I truly believe youths are filled with energy and innovation, and this innovation can be sc- can be sparked by the suggestions that I give below. First is we should bring awareness among the students. that the main cause of the main problem with the main problem we are facing with the waste management is due to improper disposal so students must be introduced with a notion of the three color dustbin that they have blue green and red and explain them the significance of these dustbins and encourage them to practice the usage inside the campus as well as outside then as mentioned before i will also encourage the idea of reduce recycle and reuse because bringing awareness is only half the job next half job is i'll take them to outing where they get the opportunity to see how the above mentioned suggestions actually work so that they get to know like whatever they are doing is playing a significant part in waste management thank you but yeah we can also tell about using the uh, assistance of ngos nearby our college so that that can be made um, successful the, the effort can be made successful that's right you while talking you made one mistake krishna what happened second part of it oh ah mm-hmm. oh. uh, the points are given below you said like yes sir yes sir yeah, yeah i said that that is wrong is a given okay, below sir. will come only while writing only in, yes sir exactly i get it sir i'm sorry yeah. 
Otherwise, okay. All of you have talked Thank on this you, point. Sir. Otherwise, sir. we have covered three topics. Yeah. Anybody wants to say something? Sir, sir who's I, I didn't talk? Sir. Pardon? You didn't talk. Uh, I didn't talk. Pooja didn't talk. Achha, please talk, Pooja. Uh, good evening. I am Pooja. I am doing my MSc in Physics from Amrita Vishya Vidya Pindam Karmatur. In this scenario, I am the college chairman and uh, uh, we had a discussion with the district collector and district collector believes that the student possesses the potential to offer innovative solutions for waste management uh, on the light of clean city project. So, as a college chairman, uh, the first step I would take is to create awareness among, among the students by conducting classes. We have to make them enthusiastic so that by, by the uh, spread of mouth, they, uh, they share this awareness to the locality they live in. Then we can also create some competitions, like poster making competitions, uh, where the best poster will be used, uh, uh, used to circulate within the city. Also, we can make uh, awareness uh, by doing beach uh, be, uh, beach cleaning drives and uh, city cleaning drives, so that which in uh, which makes the students feel that they are also being an integral part of the big uh, project. Also, segregation practices, uh, uh, along with uh, along with the idea of recycling, can be taught to students in an effective way. Thank you. So I think because you are living in Coimbatore now, where there is no beach and all, such a point can be avoided. Understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. If you are in Chennai city or Mumbai or I don't know, in Kerala, what are the other places, Trivandrum, city-based. So such places when you are talking, you can use that city project. Otherwise, whatever other points you told are correct. Thank you so much for your active participation. So we will meet tomorrow. There will be some change in time because I have Sir, agreed. I wanted to ask something. Yeah. Yeah, tell me. Sir, during GD, we first introduce ourselves. Then we state our point based on the situation. Then after that, during open discussion, do we have to introduce again? That no, 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 and... no, 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 no. There it is not required. Second time when you talk, it is not required. Okay. Okay. That is known as open discussion where simply you can, if you want, if only you can write down the name of a person who speaks well, whose point you are going to support, there is nothing like that. Similarly, if you are going to disagree with a point told by Pooja, then you must say, um, our friend Pooja has told like this, but I am of the view that this has to be done this way. Something like that. You, can, you cannot say, I disagree with her. That way you did not bluntly tell. But tell your viewpoint in what way her view is not accepted by you. Understand? Okay. Yeah. So this is what it is. Tomorrow, can you come by 8.15 p.m.? Is it okay for you? Yes, because sir. 9 o'clock, I have agreed for a, an interview for a person. So I will be with you from 8.15 to 8.55. Then 9 o'clock I will go to him. Uh, this is what it is. 8.15 GD. So all of you okay, are uh, please note down in your diary for attending Varsha. If you can come by 8.15 and share the success of your in GD, we will be happy. But this is what I expected from Shiv. Shiv could not come because he has not received the result. That's what it is. Anyhow, and even if that is not the case, um, Varsha, please post the question in our group. After okay, At what time is your GD, Varsha? 11.40. Very good. You will be coming out by 12.30 latest. Uh, then 12.30 to by about 12.45, you post the question in our group so that people can come to know of it. Okay? Okay, sir. You will post in our Telegram group only. That will do. So why I am telling you this, 
after the result means sometimes you may feel like sharing, may not feel like sharing. Such a tendency you can avoid if you post the question immediately. Leave the result in the hands of God and then go about. But one thing I have found is all of you are sailing in the same boat. Excepting one or two people who are slightly better. So those people who are slightly better will have an edge over the others. So best wishes tomorrow. But I, I won't agree with you if you come without preparing for the two topics I am telling you also you are not seeing. Then how can I make it successful? Tell me. Hmm? Mm. Yeah. Question number 84. Then question number 91. So I have told you 84 and 91. Please search and try to get the answers that are coming in the video, but prepare your own answer also. Okay. Good. I wish you all best of luck. Thank you. And I may be coming here again at uh, after 10 minutes or so for giving guidance to people who have succeeded in GD for interview. So if you want, you can come and watch that. Otherwise, if you are busy, no problem. You can see the video later on also. No issues. Thank you. But there are a lot of videos given. Like even today I shared some video and all that. Please, that is the first August 6th video, 5th, 7th video and all. They are all points which are very relevant for interview situations. Please watch them also. Thank you so much. I wish you all best of luck. Thank you. Sir, tomorrow 8.15 morning, right? 8.15 GD in the um, night only. Achha, Varsha, oh, you wanted oh. to have one, one more. Varsha, there is no... I don't think there is need for one more uh, this thing. Um, you watch the videos I have already given you. A lot of videos that we have given you. Please watch them. Go by question by question. Why are you not doing it? Huh? Tell me. Varsha. I'm doing it, sir. Doing it. Very good. See, this is the confidence I want. Good. I am happy now. Good. Please go. I wish you success. Um, otherwise, uh, I will communicate to you two question numbers at random so that you be ready for them also and go. Besides this 8491, you prepare for this now itself, though you may not be participating in our GD tomorrow. That's okay. Apart from that, okay, I will sir. give you I will give you two more or three more GD numbers which you prepare and go well. Okay. I will send it to you after about one hour. One hour. Okay. 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 tension. Director Solita Poch. Yeah, at random. Question number 76. Question number 57. Question number 54. Okay. Not Paniti Amma. Varsha. Varsha, yes, are you sir, there? Yes, Any question? It's 76, 57, 54. 76? Apra? 57, 54. Okay, 60 is not the same. 60 is not the same. 60 is not the same. 62. If you have a question, you will get one question. You will get one question exactly from this. Otherwise, any one of the questions only they are asking. But sometimes they are changing the wording. They are changing the wording. That's all. That is the only thing they are doing. Okay. Best wishes. Thank, Thank you. you. Best wishes. I wish all of you.
should Thanks. succeed. Thank you. Wish you success. Thank you, sir.